Good afternoon everyone. This is a solar controller. It is the clone of the Victron. It is. Uh, it has died on me. I don't know why. I've got a feeling that the MOSFETs is usually things that die, uh, that actually create all the heat uh, into the uh, heat sink that I've got there. As you see, it comprises of 12 MOSFETs down the bottom, which is the actual main uh, MOSFETs. And then you've got uh, four other MOSFETs. It's another uh, voltage and uh, type of MOSFET. These uh, toroidal coils, I think they are, uh, virtually uh, are all dieted into the actual uh, housing, as you can actually see. I'll, uh, I'll turn that over, gives you an idea of what one fits into the other. And these ends here, right, this end and this end, actually solder into the board, which means when, uh, when you try and pull it apart, it won't come apart. Oh, I had to butcher it a bit. I was lucky that I didn't break the actual circuit board uh, side of things. And as you can see, the capacitors, there is four grid capacitors. They're rated at 160 volts, which would be probably for the PV side of uh, of the thing and then we've got a little division plate and then you've got four other capacitors and they are rated at 100 volts which must be the um, the battery side of the things if you want to run probably a 60 volt battery or something like that uh, screw terminals the rotary switch as you can see uh, it's a few years old but it's not that old to be quite honest the other side of the board as you can see is very little uh, there you can actually see the MOSFETs um, the MOSFETs have actually broken away on some that's why I suspect the MOSFETs but pulling it apart didn't help also so I'm going to unsolder all those MOSFETs and I've got a brand new um, set of MOSFETs to go in to replace those 12 and also another set of MOSFETs uh, to actually replace those four as you see this is the, uh, the heat sink side of things it is uh, where the MOSFETs go with a bit of uh, heat transferring uh, compound and uh, the heat sink side of things. You can actually see how the screws actually come through from one side to the other. They're uh, drilled and tapped to hold the MOSFETs. Uh, that's the actual new set of MOSFETs. They're the, the four that I'm going to replace. I've bought five just in case and there's 12 to be, to be done. I've bought uh, 14 as a spare on it on each. And um, yeah, it's about to trial how it's all going to go together and whether I've actually damaged the actual printed circuit board when I pulled apart because of uh, these coils have actually been ripped out due to um, the way it's got to come apart because you can't get in there to solder them because these coils are assembled in here and then what ends up being when it all goes together they pour a resin uh, around these uh, little encapsulated little cups uh, that actually hold them in place that uh, stops them coming apart. I don't know how much heat uh, these uh, coils produce, uh, whether I'm going to lose a bit of the, the heat dissipation on the cover lid. The lid is actually uh, like an aluminium uh, die cast. So um, yeah, that's basically what my uh, next project is to see whether I can fix a solar controller.